It was such a great game. I never had so much fun watching sports. I wasn't bored once. Are you bored watching the Space Otters? No, of course not. But there are some times when you're trying to get the frisbee out of a tree that I get a jump start on my homework. Cyrus, today was not a good game. But you won. That's why we all cheered at the end, right? Yeah. But my whole teammate cheer, I didn't get to do anything. You made that amazing pass to PJ. That wasn't a pass. He stole the ball right out of my hand. Huh. You okay? Yeah, I think it's just that baby Taylor withdrawal. We gave Amber our order forever ago. Well, it is really busy in here. Don't defend her. She's the worst waitress ever. Okay, I'm gonna go see what's taking so long. Look, I just don't want to come home with you and Mama fighting again. I don't know, Dad. I'll find somewhere to stay, but I can't be around. Whatever. I have to go. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be strong. What did you hear? Nothing. I'm so sorry your parents are fighting. Yeah, well, me too. You haven't been super great with them lately. You're baby taters! Here I am talking about my stupid problems, and you're just here for your food. Let me- Yes. We're hungry. But if you want to talk... What are they talking about? It's obviously not food. And it's not really any of our business. Oh, <laughs> Jonah. It's always our business. Don't worry, I've been watching videos on how to look breathe. Let me take a crack at this. Peanuts and applesauce. The angry rabbits spilled marbles on my trampoline. Hey, I don't move the lips, I just read them. Here she comes. So, what was all of that about? I think I just invited Amber to sleep over. What? Oh, I was way off. Well, she's going through a really hard time, and she needed some place to stay tonight. You're a good person, Annie Beth. You are a good person, Annie Mac. You're also dumb. You know you can't trust her. She's trying to change. She wants to be a better person. She did seem different. Andy. Have you ever heard the story of the frog and the scorpion? No, but I bet I'm about to. A scorpion asks a frog to carry it across a river on its back. No way, you'll sting me, says the frog. But the scorpion promises not to. So the frog agrees. Then halfway across the river, the scorpion stings the frog anyway. And they both drown. What's your point? My point is, once a scorpion, always a scorpion. I seem to remember in the last story, Amber was a snake. She is a snake. And she's a scorpion. She's a snorpion. <laughs>